From the moment the doors open at a Waldorf, you know there is something special behind them. This is the Waldorf Astoria Bonnet Creek in Orlando, Florida. The Waldorf name is an iconic hotel brand everyone knows and equates to luxury with a rich history and timeless traditions. The distinctive Grand Lobby clocks of Waldorf Astoria's hotels have welcomed visitors for over 125 years. Every Waldorf has its own uniquely designed clock and lobby that reflects the culture of the area. Throughout time, guests of the Waldorf Astoria have used the lobby clock as their gathering place and would simply say to their friends, meet me at the clock. Before reaching the elevators, you'll see a large cabinet filled with historical photos of the people and events that have taken place within the walls of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York. Many famous people have even called the New York Hotel home. President Hoover spent the last 30 years of his life living at the Waldorf. Many U.S. presidents have even left memorabilia in the presidential suite. JFK left a favorite rocking chair. Other guests include Queen Elizabeth II, Winston Churchill, Elizabeth Taylor, and the engagement party for Prince Rainier and Grace Kelly was hosted at the Waldorf. Wow, if those New York walls could talk. The original Waldorf was built by William Waldorf Astor and John Jacob Astor in the late 1800s. After John's death on the Titanic and William's death four years later, it was demolished and the Empire State Building took its place. The Waldorf name was purchased by a savvy businessman named Lucius Boomer for a single dollar, and in 1931, he built the Waldorf Astoria Hotel we all know to be on Park Avenue in New York. Our room was not considered a suite, but still included an espresso machine, refrigerator, king-size bed, as well as a large sofa. But note to self, there's no microwave. So if you like that microwave popcorn while watching a late night movie in bed, it's not gonna happen for you. But here's a fun fact. Did you know the Waldorf was the first hotel to have electricity, private bathrooms, and offer room service? The hotel really does go to extremes to make sure everything is perfect. Stefan had left his sneakers outside the closet on the carpet when we left the room, and when we returned, there were, they were in the same place, but with a white towel under them. We put our shoes away in the closet after that. The view we had from our room wasn't the best, but if you looked out the corner of the room, far to the left, you did have a pretty amazing view of the pool area and overlooking the golf course. Not too bad. The bathroom was very luxurious and actually larger than a few hotel rooms we've stayed in over the years. Bathtub was very nice size to be able to soak in for a little bit and the shower very, very roomy. But we just had to show you the funniest part of the bathroom, or at least we thought it was funny. Is that not the lowest toilet paper roll you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> we had already moved in, so it already looked a little messy. In the morning, we headed down to Oscars for breakfast. This is on the ground floor, just before going out to the pool area. A continental breakfast was offered as part of our room charge, but we opted to have a full breakfast for an upcharge of $14 each. You can choose to sit inside or in the covered screened area outside. There are overhead fans for the hot days and heaters for the cooler ones. Not that there's that many cooler days in Florida. You can order off the menu. If you choose the full buffet, it includes smoked salmon, yogurt, cereal, deli meats and cheeses, and all those yummy pastries, bread, muffins, and even cookies. On the hot side are waffles, pancakes, eggs, grilled tomatoes, breakfast potatoes and meats, the service includes waitstaff for your drinks of water, coffee, and juices. You might guess the Waldorf salad was created at the Waldorf, but did you know they also came up with Eggs Benedict? For that we thank you. Eggs Benedict is one of our favorites. Bull & Bear is an award-winning restaurant on the lobby level of the hotel and one of 12 restaurants on property. All we could do was peek inside because we didn't know you need to have reservations months in advance. So pro tip, plan ahead. The pathways around the pool are well maintained with lush landscaping and the pool is surrounded by a fence to protect the littlest of guests. There are private cabanas for rent and a free game area on an enclosed lawn for things like cornhole and ping pong.
The pool fence has three different points of entry. This entrance is next to the towel station and the zero entry area of the pool. You can ask an attendant for assistance getting to a chair or to help raise an umbrella for shade. And most importantly, there is also drink service from the nearby bar. We recommend the Presco Pop. You can rent cabanas and they include complimentary refreshments and food service if you want just that little extra something for your group. Right next to the pool is the Aquamarine restaurant and offers creative salads and sandwiches. The food was great and had a beautiful presentation. The pool area also includes a fire pit. The ground level of the hotel gym is over 4,000 square feet of space overlooking the pool and golf course. It's complimentary, open 24 seven, and includes the latest in cardio and weight equipment. There are even morning weekend yoga classes available. And if you're into Peloton, you're in luck. Back upstairs is the Peacock Alley Bar. The name has an interesting history. You see, those cousins I mentioned earlier who built the original hotel didn't always get along. William built his first, and then John built his right next door. When they made up and joined the hotels with a long hallway, it was named Peacock Alley because that's where people could be seen strutting their stuff. This Waldorf has a convention center between it and the property next door, the Hilton at Bonnet Creek. This hallway would have been great for strutting your stuff back in the day. Well, maybe not so much for the ladies in heels. I'd say it's a good quarter mile in length, but at least it's in the air conditioning. At the end of the convention center hallway, you'll be overlooking the Hilton's zero entry lagoon style pool that includes a lazy river and slide. No matter if you're staying at the Waldorf or the Hilton, you can go back and forth between the properties and enjoy the amenities of each. I will say the Hilton seems to be more family friendly, offering a more fun-filled pool, arts and crafts, as well as exciting games for families to do together poolside. It's just a more overall casual atmosphere. You can bring your own pool floats or buy one at the Splash Shop. Complimentary inner tubes are available on a first come first serve basis. One thing I really liked on the Hilton side was their little store for quick bites, snacks, and drinks. And you may want to check out the Italian restaurant La Luce. I hear it is awesome. Well, that wraps up the tour of both sides of the property at Bonnet Creek. Now that you've seen the video, we want to talk a little bit more about the dollars and cents of the stay here at the Waldorf. Well, a little bit ago when Diane and I were first looking at staying there, we went on YouTube and we watched some videos of the hotel and it was kind of interesting where all the videos we watched were they were nice, they were well done, but they were all sponsored videos talking about how affordable the stay is for a family because it's near all the Disney and the theme parks and, and so on. And so we were kind of curious as to how that all really plays out because we're not sponsored. We're not sponsored at all. So we decided to do a little bit of a section on is this affordable? Well, that's really a subjective. It's not necessarily one person deems affordable, another person may not. Uh, let's take a look. So for this comparison, we're using the stay of May 9th through May 12th. And May 9th happens to be Mother's Day, so we checked in on a Sunday of this year, 2021. And we're going to take a look at it. So first off, we're going to use the Waldorf Astoria where we stayed as one comparison. The second one that we're going to use is the Hilton which is on the same property so the property is actually very large and there's a convention center with a long indoor hallway between the two so you got the Waldorf over here and you've got the Hilton over there 
but all connected on the same property. So we're going to use those two. And then as a third property, we're going to use the Hilton Grand Vacation Club at SeaWorld. So it's about a five minute drive away. Now we've stayed at that one also. But what makes it interesting is that it is a timeshare resort. And as a timeshare resort, you think that you have to be a timeshare member to be able to go there. But as it turns out, you can rent it as a regular hotel room the same way if you go on the Hilton site or if you go to hotels.com, you can in fact rent something from the Hilton Grand Vacation Club at SeaWorld. Now it's called SeaWorld because it's literally right across the street from SeaWorld. So it's really convenient. The difference with the Hilton Grand Vacation Club SeaWorld is that it is a condo. It's not just a hotel room. So the Hilton Hotel is a hotel. The Waldorf Astoria Hotel is a hotel. So when you rent a, when you rent a room, you're getting just a hotel room. It's a nice hotel room, no question, in both cases. But with the Hilton Grand Vacation Club at SeaWorld, you're getting a one-bedroom, one-bathroom condo with a living room, dining room, bedroom, and a beautiful bathroom. Quite large, actually, 11, 1,200 square feet, so quite a bit difference in the two. As far as the ambiance goes, when you look at the Waldorf Astoria, I like the idea of calling it a little bit more of a mature crowd. It seems to be more of a mature crowd for that hotel. The Hilton is a little different. It seems to be a little bit more family oriented. The grounds have a beautiful water park area with a lazy river. Just a little bit more activity as you saw in the video. The Hilton Grand Vacation Club at SeaWorld also very very family oriented very very much so really nice we've stayed there with family friends beautiful water area pool area restaurant really 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 nice but let's dive into the numbers now and see where we end up with that for the Waldorf the room rate for that time for the total nights from May 9th to May 12th was $1502 for the same period in time the Hilton which is again on the same property was $837 the Hilton Grand Vacation Club at SeaWorld was only $555. So when you think about that right off the bat, it's a little bit less money. Actually, it's a lot of less money. The resort fees, and every hotel seems to have resort fees. The resort fees are $135 for the Hilton and the Waldorf. They both, since they share the same property, have the same resort fees. The Hilton Grand Vacation Club, the resort fees were only $75. That's, uh, again, a substantial difference. Sales tax. 205 for the Waldorf, 122 for the Hilton, and $79 for the Hilton Grand Vacation Club, coming out to a total of. So the total for the stay, again, May 9th through May 12th, was $1,842 for the Waldorf. For the Hilton, was $1,094, and for the Hilton Grand Vacation Club, was $709. I'd like to add to that, that for the Waldorf and the Hilton, you had to use valet parking, and valet parking was $40 per day. In and out privileges included, but was $40 per day. At the Hilton Grand Vacation Club, the parking was free, completely free. So it makes quite a bit of difference. So the grand total is about oh, a little over $1,000 less for the Hilton Grand Vacation Club than for the Waldorf, and you get a bigger property to, to stay in. My vote for the whole thing, having stayed at the Hilton Grand Vacation Club and the Waldorf, I would say the Waldorf is a nice property, but the Hilton Grand Vacation Club wins hands down. Price for what you get, the size of the unit. If I was to stay a week, I'd much rather have a 12, 11, 1200 square foot condo than a hotel room. <laughs> Hope this helps. If you like this kind of information, hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if there's any other kind of comparisons you'd like me to do. I love doing these. Let me know. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.